In this section, we learned about some of the important React hooks. For example, in this login component, we use this use state hook. We also use this use effect hook. We used use reducer hook, use context, and use ref. Now, we also have some more React hooks available, but we will talk about it later in this course as we move along. But since we have learned so much about hooks, now let's learn about some of the rules of a React hook which we should follow when using a React hook. There are two main rules that you have to know and follow when working with React hooks. The first rule is you must only call React hooks in a React function. That means you can only use a React hook in a React component function as we have been doing it so far. You cannot use a React hook outside of a component function. For example, if I try to use, let's say, use state React hook outside of this login component function, you will notice that when I save the changes here and when we go to the web page, in the web page we have this error and it says React hook use state cannot be called at the top level. React hook must be called in a React function component or a custom React hook function. Now we have not talked about this custom React hook function yet, but we will talk about it in the later section of this course. But remember that we can also use a React hook inside a custom React hook function. Okay, so there are two places where we can use a React hook. We can use it either inside a component function or we can use it inside our custom React hook function. We cannot use it outside of a component function like we are trying to do here. Okay, so this is giving us an error. Now, if I try to use this use state inside a function which we have declared outside of the component function, for example, if I try to use this use state inside this password reducer function, here also React will not allow us to use it. So again, if I save the changes, if I go to the web page, again, we have this error. And here the error says, React hook use state is called in a function password reducer. So we are calling this use state hook inside this password reducer function. And this function is neither a React function component nor a component React hook function. So basically, we cannot use this use state hook inside this password reducer function because this function is neither a component function nor it is a custom React hook function. So remember that the first rule is you must only call a React hook inside a component function or inside a custom react hook function so let's go ahead and let's remove it from here the second important rule is you must only call react hook at the top level of your react component function or custom hook function don't call hooks inside any nested function or block statements for example we are calling this use reducer hook at the top level we are not calling it inside any nested function or inside a block, right? If we try to do that, React will throw us an error. For example, let's say I have an if statement and here let's set the condition to true. And inside this if statement, if I try to use a React hook, for example, let's say use state, again, we will get an error. So if I save the changes, if we go to the web page, so here you can see we have an error. So we cannot use a React hook inside a block or inside a nested function. So these are the two official rules of a React hook, which we must follow when using a React hook. Let's go ahead and let's remove this if statement. Now there is one more unofficial rule, which you should also follow when you're using this use effect hook. So basically when you are using this use effect hook, you're passing a callback function to it. And the rule is, Inside this callback function, whichever state you are using, you should pass it as a dependency to this array. For example, inside this callback function, we are using this email state and we are also using this password state. So we should pass these two states as the dependency to this dependencies array. So this is also one rule which you should follow while using use effect hook. Now inside this use effect, we are also using this set form is valid function. So this is the state updating function. So we should also pass this as the dependency. But since this function is not going to change that often, or it is not going to change at all, we can omit this. So in use effect hook, make sure that you always add everything you refer to inside the use effect as a dependency, unless there is a good reason not to do that. 
this is all I wanted to cover in this lecture. Now in React, there are some more hooks which we have not covered yet, but we are going to cover it as we move along in this course. But so far, whatever React hooks we have learned about, I hope it is clear to you. If you have any questions, then feel free to ask at any time. This is all from this lecture. Thank you for listening and have a great day.